There's really only three steps when you have to rationalize the denominator when you have it in this form. The first step is to simplify the third in the denominator if you can. You always want to have it in its simplest form. The second step is then to multiply the top and the bottom of the fraction that you've got by that same simplified third in the denominator. And then the last step is to simplify the fraction further if you need to. So coming back to this, we can see that the third in the denominator can be simplified, and so we're going to simplify that first. And so the top, we're going to keep the same, 5 root 10, over, this is going to be 3 times the square root of 9 times 3, where 9 is the biggest square factor of 27. And at the bottom, we can take out the square root of 9 and multiply it by the number that's outside the root, and so this is going to equal 5 root 10 on the top, and then 3 times 3, which is 9, and then we've got the root 3. Now we've got a third at the bottom, which is in its simplest form, and so we're going to multiply the top and bottom of this fraction by that same root, and so we're going to multiply it by root 3 over root 3. From here we just multiply across now, so this is going to be 5 times root 30 over 9 times root 3 times root 3 is going to be 3. Simplifying this, this is equal to 5 root 30 over 27, and this fraction can't be simplified any further, and so this is your answer.